Dear Doctor, I bring in all the wishes and greetings from Speed uh, Medical Institute on behalf of the entire faculty team and the members of Speed uh, to Dr. Rakesh Gopalakrishnan for scoring MCH Plastic Surgery Rank Number 8 in NEET SS 2021. Thank you, sir. All credits to you and our institute, sir, our faculty as well. Thank you, Doctor. And uh, we want to know uh, the background information of uh, Dr. Rakesh and where is he coming from, where he did in medicine, MS, OI Plastic Surgery. Sir, I am from uh, Sivakasi, south of Tamil Nadu. I did my MBBS at uh, Stanley Medical College, sir. I belong to 2011 batch. Then I have joined uh, Speed Kanchipuram for my PG training. There I left uh, in between. I just missed my track in between, so I left to my home. Uh, without much of a revision, I gave my knee PG, sir. So I got uh, DNB general surgery. Then I have, I did my general surgery at Hyderabad, Ishoda Hospitals. I finished my general surgery in just in August 2021, sir. Then I, right from my Stanley days, I have some fascination towards plastic surgery, sir. That's how my interest in plastic surgery started. And in our institute, in DNB Institute, uh, there also they do much of uh, trauma cases as well as uh, facial and uh, hand reconstructions. So my fascination was kept alive by our consultants here. Then I have decided my, okay, I am, my field is going to be plastic surgery only. And that too, being from a Stanley, I want to get into Stanley alone, first of all. Then I have joined Speed in during, actually, there was some... Uh, confusion be regarding that the pattern of examination. So I joined Speed during, uh, I think, November. Uh, initially, I was going through those uh, general videos sir, initially, just because I have finished, completed my general examination at that time. Then I have gone through all those plastic videos that, uh, you know, I was running out of time. I was uh, seeing those videos at 2x speed initially. Then I have uh, attended all those uh, test and discussion and they were high yield videos, image and uh, images and a table discussion in Bailey and submission videos. Nothing much I prepared outside of those uh, videos, sir. And only one book I got for a plastic surgery, which was uh, Fundamentals of Plastic Surgery by Dr. McGregor. And I have gone those, uh, all, all those uh, previous year question papers of NEET and AIMS. This is my first attempt with AIMS, I mean first attempt with NEET. And I was quite very, very surprised sir, to have this much rank, sir. It was uh, only possible because of uh, speed institute, nothing much. I know you very well, actually. See, I, Mr. I, I, Mr. Track in this interview also, and I also, through your name and also if your aspiration, because, and we had a lot of interactions previously. I, I mean, I've known you have been in Kanchipuram, and even I saw your video of a testimonial even a couple of days back. So, but you have totally transformed, and there's a lot of transformation that I could see. You. And uh, very less people would come from Sivakasi to medical destiny. Not many will come. And uh, the, because it's a business hub, so people will try to go for management and engineering. And we, a hand, handful of people will come out of the place for this. And Tamil is And I did schooling in OERTV. Yeah, same school. Yes. Yeah, sir. I have uh, attended your uh, annual day speech also. So it is great to get an interview with you today. And uh, one thing which I want to ask you is, Stanley is known for hand surgery, in, especially in plastic, in, in hand surgery. I mean, it's a premier institute for uh, hand surgery. And uh, you know who introduced and who started hand surgery? Ah, sir. Dr. R. Venkatasamy, sir. Yes, and uh, R. Venkatasamy, and, and he, he was a pioneer. He is a famous personality all over India, sir. Yes, so probably I want to ask you, I mean, you, you are inspired by uh, the plastic surgery department in Stanley. I mean, During MBBS days, I have nothing exposure to plastic surgery, sir. As an MBBS student, I have no exposure. I have never been to the department, but I have seen those buildings from outside. And, you know, we used to see those newses in uh, newspapers where hair have, hand have been re transplanted, re-implanted in Stanley. That kind of fascination is started. And uh, be before my DNB general surgery, initially I opted for DNB plastic surgery six years course initially. Then uh, I changed my mind in second round. But as I said, in uh, my general surgery also, my fascination towards uh, plastic surgery was kept live because of our consultants. We used to do a lot of trauma cases, hand cases, kind of things. So I thought this will be my career. Great. 
and uh, it has been now wonderfully blended and has now taken a final shape and you are into the final part of your career and final destiny of your career and uh, from now on and it's a it's a brand with Dr. Rakesh carries as a plastic surgeon and then <laughs> it, and it's quite an amazing uh, feeling that thing is what when you want that and you get it and it's just a course of time you complete it and it's a great feel by itself and uh, and definitely you will do on this. So now I want to ask you, what is the thing that you want to specialize in plastic surgery? You have something else, you just want to finish plastic surgery or you have something in your mind to do with plastic surgery? So there are, uh, as I have inquired, there are many subspecialties in plastic surgery. But uh, all over, all institutes in India, they have one subspecialty which will be more focused on. Though they are doing all cases of all the subspecialty, but there will be one thing which will be more focused. As I said, if I go to Stanley, definitely hand surgery will be very well be trained, sir. But I don't know. Even I, move, I think only after entering into those fields, I will come to know what I am interested. But probably free flaps as well as uh, micro surgery. That's what okay, great. Now, what is the message that you want to give your, through your experience that to your juniors, to your friends? My, my relationship with speed starts from 2015, I think. Out of this uh, video materials, what we have in speed up, there is nothing that will be asked in exams. So that's what I realized. Even I have gone through fast, past three, four years of NEET uh, SS uh, question paper as well as AIMS PJ question papers. Maybe in AIMS question, they will ask some three to four uh, syndrome questions, which uh, just acts as a tiebreaker. That's all. Otherwise, what I have realized is out of this video content, nothing was asked. Maybe this time there was some you still say in the uh, general, general part, yes. but uh, I think uh, I will rec strongly recommend anybody to attend a speed class. And that's why I was uh, pretty late for the preparation. I just uh, subscribed for only for two months. If it had been uh, live classes, then it will be like a uh, day-to-day work. It will not be much uh, burden. So. And uh, actually, for the level of competition now we are seeing, we should start by second year or third year itself. That to have the uh, being the pattern change the general pattern, they should be doing a uh, start from second year itself. That's what I suggest. And uh, your career has been now uh, built like this. And whom do you want to thank? I mean, who have been very important to you in your career? To yeah. thank my parents, uh, first of all, they have been my backbone right from my UG days because, as you know, being from Sivakasi in the medical background is quite different and difficult. And all my, many of my relatives are uh, in the medical field only. They have supported and guided me a lot right from the beginning. And they also acted as my inspiration to continue my career because many people would have taken engineering or gone settled now, but they act, acted as my inspiration. And also, of course, definitely you and our institute as well as our faculties. I want to thank Dr. Sri Devi, Dr. Rama Devi, Dr. Subhashini, Dr. Rashida, Dr. Hartikein, sir, Dr. Ibrahim, sir, and uh, Dr. Balakrishna sir at this time. Definitely without this materials, I wouldn't have done this. And of course, we, even in general surgery, we are not much exposed to plastic surgery anywhere in the India. So it was very difficult without this materials. Without them guidance, without their uh, facilitation, we wouldn't have done this. And nobody could. And, uh, and because you're from Chennai, and all those names that you said or very big names and uh, great plastic surgeons in the city. So once again, I wish you and greet you all the best, all the success in the field of plastic surgery and a great plastic surgeon years to come. God bless you. Wish you all the best and all the success. Keep going.